this season we haven't been the best team in the NBA, but at the same time, we have not been the worst team in the NBA. You could kind of say we've been stuck in the middle all season, which isn't bad, but at the same time, isn't where I really want to be. I mean, we have the pieces on the squad to be at least a top three seed in the Eastern Conference, but for some reason, we're not. But as of late, especially after the All-Star break, we have been balling out, bro. Especially in that last episode when we faced off against the Milwaukee Bucks. Bro, if you missed that EP, go back and check it out. We destroyed the Hall of Fame CPU. You have to go back to that last EP and leave a life for me just for that, bro. Like, we destroyed them. Destroyed them. They had no chance against us. But before I continue... What's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is the Prince YouTube PS Compulsion signing in here, aka Prince Anthony. And ladies and gentlemen, we are closing in on the NBA playoffs. So at this point in the season, we have a 36 win record, 36 and 21 for the NBA season so far. We are fourth place in the Eastern Conference behind the Philadelphia 76ers, the Milwaukee Bucks, and the Brooklyn Nets. With the NBA season coming to an end, I decided in the last episode that for the rest of the season, I was going to take the time to face off against good teams in the Eastern Conference. I'm not focused on the Western Conference teams right now, like the Houston Rockets, the Utah Jazz. Uh-uh. I'm going to face off against good teams in the East. So in this episode, I want to face off against the Atlanta Hawks. Right now, they have the sixth seed, and who knows, they could come up to the fifth seed, meaning in the first round, we have a chance of facing off against them. And for anyone wondering why I'm not playing a nationally televised game against the Boston Celtics, which is basically our game right now that we're supposed to be playing, I'm not going to play it because look at all these injuries, bro. Like, a lot of the Celtics roster at this moment are injured. They have five of their good players injured. That's going to be an easy victory. There's no way they could beat us. So now it's time to simulate to our game against the Atlanta Hawks. We beat the Bucks for the week, and then, you see, right there, we beat the Boston Celtics. I told you guys, there was no way that they were going to beat us. We beat the Toronto Raptors. Okay, we are winning and grinning. Can we beat the Bulls? Please tell me we could be. Okay, there we go. We sweep the week, ladies and gentlemen. We won every single game. That's what I want to see, especially leading up to the postseason. Let's see if we can win all of our games this week. We're facing off against three good teams from the Western Conference, of course. There goes our winning streak. We lose to the Houston Rockets. Come on, we should be able to beat the Jazz and the Pelicans. We beat the Utah Jazz and the Pelicans. Oh, yeah, Zion is injured. We should easily be able to beat... How did we lose to the Pels, bro? Zion Williamson has a season-ending injury, and we lose to the Pelicans. RJ Barrett probably balled out, bro. So now it's a new week. We have three games before our game against the Atlanta Hawks. Let me just check the injury report real quick i always do that after every week and look at this trey young is injured he is out for six to eight weeks he is out not hurt it makes no sense playing that game like i'm really disappointed now i was really looking forward to playing that game against the atlanta hawks and now trey young is not even playing that should be an easy victory for us so i decided i'm just gonna simulate this entire week we beat the miami heat see i'm rocking their snapback right there now Facing off against the Orlando Magic, can we beat them? No, we actually lose to Orlando. That's crazy. And you know what else is crazy? I think they are in the playoff picture. I should have faced off against them. We beat the Cleveland Cavaliers. Please tell me we could beat the Hawks. Do not lose to the Hawks with no Trey Young. And we lost? Bro, we took an L to the Hawks without Trey. And I was going to simulate past this entire week, but I decide to simulate our game against the Boston Celtics, only game I'm simulating for this week. And of course, we got the W. We beat them before a few weeks ago. Of course, we were going to beat them again. And I decided that I want to play this game against the New York Knicks. It's a nationally televised game. And on top of that, they're right behind us in the standings. I mean, looking at the Eastern Conference right now, the Brooklyn Nets, Milwaukee Bucks, and Philadelphia 76ers, all three of those teams clinched a spot in the NBA playoffs. Up next, we got to do so, bro. And what better way to do so than defeat the New York Knicks? I think if we beat the Knicks in this game, we definitely should clinch a playoff spot because the Boston Celtics are right underneath, like, the eighth seed, I believe. They're right out of the postseason, and I think they have, like, 13 games left, meaning that even if they win all 13 games and they win 43 games for the season, if we were to somehow win this next game against the New York Knicks, that means we win 44 games, which is going to clinch us a spot in the NBA postseason. So this game against the New York Knicks is going to be big. And then on top of that, imagine 
we face off against them in the first round. This just might be a preview of the first round of the NBA playoffs. But first, we got to see what the New York Knicks are working with. Kevin Knox and Julius Randle are injured right now. They probably just got injured because they were now on the injury list. Knicks got Markel Falls, T. Ferg, Franklin Higgs, Gary Nixon, Yanka Perla. I said his name right finally. Giannu. They still got Mitchell Robinson. Colin is on the team as well. Bobby Portis. So their team is looking pretty decent. And they do have a good bit of custom players on their roster because the team is really trash. So every single season, they end up having a top 10 pick. So they were able to get those custom players from the custom 2K draft class that they have. So they had players like Giannu, who they drafted, Hicks, Gary Nixon. So they've been doing pretty well because right now they're a fifth seed in the eastern conference and looking at this team i don't know how they managed to do it with a roster this okay but they're doing it and in terms of injury style still out for the entire nba season he's not playing another game for us for the rest of the season but maurice harkless he got injured during the simulation he is going to be out for one or two weeks and the best part about that is the playoffs is like three to four weeks away meaning he's going to heal in time for the postseason so that's pretty lit but now ladies and gentlemen welcome to charlotte as we get ready to face off against the 40 and 28 new york knicks we won 43 games we lost 25 and like i mentioned here at the eastern conference i'm the fourth seed the knicks are the fifth seed this just might be a preview of the first round of the Eastern Conference. I cannot wait to play this game. I gotta see what this New York Knicks team is made of. Same starting five for us as always. D'Lo, Brogdon, Paul George, Michael Kidd, Gilchrist, and last but not least, Miles Turner. I'll see you guys after this game. New York Knicks, Charlotte Hornets, preview of the first round of the NBA playoffs. Let's go Hornets. Come send me a screen. Okay, I'm gonna just run into the screen. Not going anywhere with D'Lo, kicking it out. Paul George, perfect release. First two points of the game for us. Paul George, perfect release. It should have been a three-pointer, but hey, I will take the two points. I'll take whatever I could get to start. Let's see what they got. Oh, no. Don't let Colin get that. There we go. Solid defense. Getting the ball up ahead to Malcolm Brogdon. He takes it all the way to the basket. Throwing down the beautiful. Oh, wait. They got somebody wide open. Can he knock it down? Nope. Cannot knock down the wide open three. The Knicks still have the lead, surprisingly. But here comes Brogdon to the basket and one. There we go. Our offense have really been slow to start the game, to say the least. But, hey, I will take that and one. Since playing 2K20, this has to be my worst quarter ever. Not this quarter. We just got to the second quarter. The first quarter, we only scored eight points, bro. Like, both teams have not been playing well at all. Look at this. Knicks have 10 points. We have 8. Get out of here with that BS. But driving. Oh, look at that. Excellent driving kick. That's Willie Hearn and Goldman. Oh, I see you, Shamit. Driving, kicking. Shamit for 3. Oh, come on. What is good with my offense this game? We should be up by at least 20 points. Yo, both teams are throwing up bricks right now. It's really starting to upset me. Can we please score in this possession? Harrison driving. I should have laid it up and in. But I got it to Jordan Bell instead. I wanted him to get that shot. I don't even want to play Andrew Harrison, but Maurice Harkless is injured. So let's see if the Knicks can score. Because both teams have not been scoring to start this game like at all. They are moving the basketball. Nice ball movement, though. Shot clock winding down. Colin trying to run that pick and roll. Not going nowhere. He is not making that. Grab the. Re oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Chris Boucher saying, get that weak stuff out of here. Who is that in the corner? Shamit for three. Bang. <laughs> oh, yeah. I should be able to draw the foul. Forget it. I have been trying to draw fouls, get my offense rolling, but whenever it seems like I do, we just start missing as they get an easy bucket, bro. Like, what's really going on? We should be up by at least 20 points if our offense was running the way that it normally does. Oh, step back three. Try to put this shot up. Pump faking, pump faking, and I get blocked. Our offense is horrible right now. Of course, he's going to pull up for three. Excellent defense. Excellent closeout defense. I saw that coming a mile away. Always pulling up on the fast break three. Get out of here with that BS, bro. Driving to the basket with Paul George. Finally, we get something to go. Colin inside gets the shot to go. End of the third quarter approaching. And this game has been going back and forth because literally nobody's offense is clicking. So I feel like the first team to go on a major run is going to win this game. Who is this wide open? Look at this. Don't be disrespectful now. Come on. 
Shot clock winding down. They throw it down low. He cannot get that shot to go. Let's end this third quarter on a high note. Getting the ball up ahead. Oh, yeah. Shaman drives to the basket and won. There we go. Gives us some separation going into the fourth quarter. That's what I want to see. Perfect release on the free throw. T-Ferg brung the ball up the court, and it looks like he did not want to pass. And he didn't. <laughs> Let's push this lead up here in the fourth quarter. Nice ball movement, driving. Ah, oh, man. Forget it. Thought I was going somewhere, but I throw it down low. Jordan Bell got a baby on him. He had the baby. And Jordan Bell throws down the beautiful jam. There was no way Colin was defending that. Come on, let me get this. Oh, my. Good. Can I get a foul? I have not been able to do nothing this game. Zero points in the last two minutes. And just like that, the New York Knicks come back to tie the game. Why are we going back and forth with the Knicks? This should be a very easy victory for us, especially with all the injuries they're dealing with. But for some reason, we are not scoring efficiently at all. It's like all my players are tired. Nice pass inside to Jordan Bell. I will Knicks have a chance to take the lead. They are taking their time on this position. Oh, wait. Get out of here with that B. Okay, there we go. He misses the three-pointer, but they get the rebound and the pushback. I thought Colin was going to knock down that clutch three-pointer. He hit a clutch one here in the fourth. I thought he was going to knock down another one. We are down by two points, and our offense is cold, trying to get something going. I'm not going nowhere. Everybody's cold right now. Brogdon to the basket. Draws the foul. I'll take it. I'm taking whatever I could get. First free throw is good. I'm taking my time. Second free throw. Got it. Tie game. This is the loudest the crowd been all game. Colin driving. Oh, he's not making that. Come on. Come on. Capardo, or however you say his name. Knocks down a clutch three-pointer while our offense is, yo, less than a minute remaining. I need a bucket. There we go. We've been drawing more fouls here in this fourth quarter than we drew the entire game. Like, this is really amazing. Talk about BS, bro. First free throw is good. Can we please knock down the second one? We need this. Paul George, don't let me down. Don't let him get nothing. Running that pick and roll. Colin driving. They leave Caperna open for three again. This time he cannot get the shot to go. We really dodge a bullet on that one. Come on, let's see what we got. Oh, who's this wide open? MKG. Gives us a one. Whatever we do, please do not give up another wide open three on this possession. Oh, it looks like he stepped on the back court line. Get out of here with that. <laughs> okay, let's see what they got in this possession. Crowd chant and defense. Oh, there we go. Look at the defense. <laughs> My son, D'Angelo Russell, been having a cold shooting game, but came up with the clutch steal. First free throw, good. Second free throw, perfect release again. Ice in his veins, bro. When I need him, no matter how bad he's shooting for the game, he comes up with the clutch steal. No more timeouts left for New York. Oh, Colin pulls up a three. Cannot get it to go, but they get the offensive rebound. They get another chance. Can't get it to go, but they get the tip in. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to the free throw line again. I have to knock down both to ice this game. Oh, my goodness. I wish you guys could see my face. First free throw, no good. Second free throw is good. D-Lo. Two-point lead. We should really have a three-point lead right now. Now we cannot give up a three-pointer. Four seconds remaining. They get it to Colin. Oh, he pulls up for the tie in overtime. Could not get it to go. I thought he was going to pull up for three. If he did and he knocked that down, <sighs> I don't know what would have happened, bro. I don't think we would have been able to win the game because, as you can see, down the stretch, my team could not knock down a shot to save their lives. But nonetheless... We got the dub. Looking at the box score for the New York Knicks, although their team box score don't look the best, this was a very interesting game, bro. I don't know if they were playing good defense or if my offense just sucked this game, but I have no idea. Like, how can I really explain the game that we just had? That was horrible, bro. But somehow, someway, we got the dub. I will take it. Was a sloppy dub. What can I say? I'll take and it. And looking at the box score for our squad, I can't even say good team win, good team effort. This was a lucky team win and a lucky team effort at that. Look at that. Landry Shamit, leading scorer for the game. Look at the box score. It's just a 
horrible. He did not shoot well from the field at all. D-Lo, look at that. Oh my goodness, that is horrible. That is really horrible, but when push comes to shove, Paul George got to the free throw line, hit two clutch free throws. D'Angelo Russell got a clutch steal and knocked down two clutch free throws. And then he got fouled again and then actually missed the clutch free throw. But it doesn't matter. I will take the win. So that game was not one of our best games. It was a nationally televised game at that too. I hate that national audience get to see us embarrass ourselves like that. Especially d -Law. I feel so bad. But it does not matter anymore because with that W, like I said, we clinched ourselves a spot in the NBA playoffs. Let's go! 44 win season for us so far. We have the potential to win at least 50 games plus this season. We're in the playoffs. Things are looking good. So with the 44 win season, we clinched ourselves a playoff berth. And to be honest, I think that we're ready for the NBA playoffs. I really don't want to play another game this season. I mean, looking at the rest of the season, it shouldn't be too hard to go on a good winning streak heading into the postseason. Especially because our last game is against the New York Knicks. We should be able to beat them again. That was a very sloppy W, but it's a W nonetheless. I'm really glad that we got that W. Nobody was scoring for our squad, but don't worry. We're ready, bro. We're definitely ready. It's been a long time since I started this series when NBA 2K21 came out, and we are yet to win an NBA championship. This rebuild is going to come to a close at the end of this postseason with us being NBA champions and us bringing a championship to Charlotte. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. It's definitely going to happen. I cannot wait. But if you made it to the end of this episode, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel and share this video with your friends if you want to. Click on the playlist on the screen. Check out some of my other content because, as always, my content is lit. My content is fire. Thank you for watching. This is Prince of YouTube signing out.